Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem on uh, your Windows operating system when you install Ubuntu WSL uh, app using Microsoft Store and you are trying to start it. The error uh, says WSL register distribution failed with this error. And then you will see this message also that WSL2 requires an update to its kernel component. For information, please visit this website. So this is what exactly we are going to do. I'm going to just copy this uh, URL and then I'm going to press any key here, which is going to just close this window. And then I'm going to go to my browser and then I'm going to just paste this link, which I have copied. And here you will see in the fourth step, download the Linux kernel update package, right? So we are going to download this uh, package. So here you just need to click on this link, which is WSL2 Linux kernel update package, which is going to start the download of this package. You can see on my Edge browser, this download has been started. And once this uh, download is finished, you can go to your downloads uh, folder and then click on this option which says WSL update x64. Let me minimize this. And then here you just need to click on next and then click on yes, which is going to update everything. And then at last you will see this message completed the Windows subsystem for Linux update setup wizard. And now I'm going to click on finish here. And now I'm going to uh, try to restart my Ubuntu app. So let me just click on this Ubuntu app. And this time, hopefully, you will not see this error. So you can see here, the installation of Ubuntu has been successfully started. And it says, please create a default Unix user account. The username does not need to match your Windows username. So now I'm going to give uh, the Unix username. And as you can uh, see here, this username does not need to match your Windows user. So I'm going to just uh, uh, give, uh, for example, code bind here as the username and then press enter. And then I'm going to give the new password. So this password also does not need to be the, your Windows password. So let me give the new password here and then press enter and then retype that password and then press enter. And you can see the password is updated successfully and now I am logged in to my uh, Ubuntu operating system and now I can start using uh, this Ubuntu bash on my Windows 11 operating systems. 